Hello everybody, welcome to Sensible Fitness. My name is Ashish and in today's video we're going to talk about strength curves and resistance curves. Okay, so strength curves and uh, resistance curves. Strength curves are basically a graphical representation of how strong you are throughout a particular movement or exercise. More specifically, it sort of shows you how strong you are in each and every single part of an exercise. For example, let's take the bicep curl. Now, in the bicep curl, uh, if you were to take the concentric part of the movement, uh, there are basically three parts. The first part is with your hands at your side when you're holding the uh, dumbbells or the uh, barbell. The second part would be when your hands are at 90 degrees, uh, again with the dumbbell or barbell. And the third part is when your hands are closer to your chest and you're holding the dumbbell or barbell up to your chest. Now, in these three areas, your strength or how much weight you're actually able to hold do vary. For example, uh, when your hands are by your side or indeed when your hands are uh, up closer to your chest, you're actually able to hold a lot more weight than if your uh, hands were at the uh, 90 degree angle. So your strength curve in this particular movement would be highest at the beginning, would then drop uh, when you get closer and closer to that 90 degree angle and then would pick up again once you move away from that 90 degree angle and, and you move the barbell or dumbbell closer to your chest. Now this would be a typical strength curve of a bicep curve. Now the resistance curve similar to the strength curve is a graphical representation of uh, how much uh, resistance is offered by whatever tool you're using. For example, again, let's go back to the dumbbells or barbell. Now, when it comes to a dumbbell or a barbell, if you're just using them without you know, adding anything to it, if you're just using them and weights, then the uh, resistance actually stays the same throughout the movement. So if I were to pick up a 50 pound um, dumbbells, right? And, and I were to do a bicep curl, then the uh, resistance would stay consistently at 50 pounds throughout the movement and it wouldn't really change. As opposed to that, if I were to take something like say bands or um, or tubes, for example. Now, for bands or tubes, the uh, resistance actually increases throughout the movement. So while the uh, resistance at the bottom phase of the uh, bicep curl might be say around 20 pounds, while I get closer and closer to full contraction or, or I get to the end of the uh, concentric phase of the exercise, that uh, resistance would have gone up to around 40 pounds, maybe 50 pounds, again, depending on the uh, resistance bands or tubes that you're using. Why is this important for you to know? Why is this important for your gym? Because putting pressure on muscles is very, very important. You know, strength curves or resistance curves basically talks about how much pressure is on your muscle and how much pressure your muscle can handle in different different parts of a particular movement and knowing that is is very very important because that of course is the basics of building muscle is putting more pressure on your muscles and of course in movements where your strength curves vary you can actually only lift as much as at your weakest point so for example let's take the bicep curl as we talked about before we know that at the 90 degree angle is when you're at your weakest now if you were to pick up a weight that is more than you can handle at that 90 degree angle, you won't be able to actually do the exercise. Sure, you may, be, you may be able to pick it up and you may be able to start curling it, but if you're not able to cross that 90 degree angle, you won't be able to do a full bicep curl. Let's take one more example. Let's take the bench press. In a bench press, you are weakest at the bottom of the movement and you're strongest at the top of the moment when your uh, pecs are fully contracted. So let's say that you can handle 150 pounds at the bottom and let's say that you can handle 170 pounds at the top. Now if you were to add 170 pounds to the bar, what would happen is you would be able to unrack the bar but as soon as you bring it down on your chest, you probably won't be able to push it off because you can't handle more than 150 pounds at the bottom portion of the movement. So you won't actually be able to push the bar off because it's too heavy for you at that part of the movement. Now, if you were to do say 150 pounds, then yes, you would be able to lift it off your chest and you would be able to push it up. But at the top of the movement where your muscle can handle 170 pounds, you're only putting pressure of 150 pounds. So you're actually leaving 
a bit of the pressure off there. You can put more pressure on your muscles. Your muscles can be worked a bit more. A great way to sort of overcome this challenge is to understand strength curves and uh, resistance curves. So, for example, you could add a resistance band for the bench press. Now, at the bottom of the movement, the uh, resistance band is not stretched, it's not tight, so it won't actually add any more weight to the bar. So you could put on a 150 pounds on the bar and put on a uh, resistance band. So that will give you a total resistance of 150 pounds. But at the top of the movement, your resistance bands will obviously be stretched. It will be providing much more resistance than at the bottom. So by adding uh, resistance bands, what you've basically done is you've kept the the resistance at the bottom at a 150 pounds which you can handle but you increase the uh, resistance at the top to a 170 pounds which is again a weight that you can handle but is much higher than the weight that you have put on the bar so essentially you will still be putting the same amount of pressure on the bottom while not leaving any gains at the top portion of the movement or at the portion of the movement where you are the strongest now, obviously, this is just a tool that can be used, you know, ultimately, at, at the end of the day, consistency, you know, training constantly, having good nutrition, having good rest will still beat every other, you know, tricks and tips that uh, I can give you or that anyone else can give you at all. Consistency is still going to be the key to actually building muscle over a long period of time. But a great way to sort of bring in uh, hypertrophy is by understanding strength and resistance curves. Thank you very much for watching. That was the video on strength curves and resistance curves. I hope you liked the video. If you did like it, please do like, share and subscribe. Click the bell icon to be notified every time a new video drops. If you have any doubts about the topic covered in today's video, or if you have any comments, questions or topic ideas which I can convert into a full-fledged video like this one, please do drop it in the comments down below. Follow us on our other social media platforms. The links, as always, are in the description. If you're interested in conversations about music, please do check out the Basic Trouble podcast. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again next time. Goodbye.